We're now in the Zara sale and it is dangerous territory. I don't even know what the rules are with YouTube and like nudity. Look at these prints. <laughs> Have the LED lights on me. They are so fun. Literally love them. Need to keep busy. Trying to eat the hours away Who knew that I like Milky Way? Wake up, I'm ready to go Yeah, feeling so good in control Yeah, think of the places I could be So I give up and watch TV I think I'm going crazy Pacing around my room Tell me that it gets better Being alone, alone together The world is upside down Tracing clouds, I can't believe I'm missing crowds. Time moving so slow, again I'm staring at my phone. Yesterday feels a year ago. Wake up, I'm ready to go. I knew it as soon as I bought this tripod that I'd use it so much. Hello, guys, welcome back. We've got another weekly vlog. Woo I just thought it was about time we do another. Don't know about you. Hope you guys are well. Um, I am just off to the mall. I need to to get some new eczema cream. My eczema, you guys know, on my neck. I always talk about it, and it's kind of come up onto my face, and it's my whole face is pretty sensitive. So I'm just fed up, and like my body is itchy. If you know, then you know. It's just so frustrating. So yeah, that's where I'm off. Obviously, I went to the gym this morning. You guys would have, would have seen that. I did an upper body session and some abs. So yeah, I thought I would start the vlog now. I am, um, the England match, well, an England match is on tonight. And I'm not even joking, every single one previous, I've been at work and I'm not even a big football fan at all. When like England are playing, everyone gets really like social and it's a good time to sort of like, I don't know, have a drink and watch the football. So me and Erin are going to the pub tonight and I haven't seen her in two months. But it's over two months now and she's back from uni. That's the plan. And I will speak to you guys in a bit. <laughs> guys it's now the evening i bought a new belly bar today pre-warning if you don't like belly buttons don't watch this next like 10 second clip i think it looks really cute obviously don't mind the red because i did just change it but it's from claire's and it's got a little pearl and a little like gem bit it doesn't like i feel like obviously it's still healing but it doesn't hurt or anything and from claire's i also picked up so i basically had these earrings from la Visa, but they broke so i just picked them up like they're, they're basically the same just from claire's and then i picked up this is one of the only things that seems to work on my eczema. It's the, the Aveeno de Maxa cream. I've spoken about it before. Um, it is more expensive than like the ordinary. Oh shit! I thought that would have a cap on it. It didn't. Um, than the ordinary like Aveeno cream. But hopefully that works. And then I also picked up. I also picked up, which I just used on my face, hence why it's kind of shiny, is the Setra Burn. This is an ointment. So yeah, tomorrow I'm actually going for going for a treatment, which I'm super excited about. I will obviously vlog it. Um, I'm mainly going, well, I'm going and like doing lots of Instagram stories. So Shanice, who is the owner of the company, um, the company is Body Squad UK and it's like non-surgical treatments um, and I've never had anything like this done before and I just thought she asked if I wanted to be like one of their month's influencers and I thought I've never had anything like this like 
I just I just want to try it. It sounds really cool. Um, I believe I'm having like a tummy sculpt treatment yeah i'm really excited i don't know what it's gonna be like but yeah i think i'm going to i'm just planning today i think i'm gonna go to london for a couple of days next week which is really exciting um to see all my friends and try and like take some cool content as well I also bought Sophia and Chintzia's drinking game last week when it came out and me and Macaulay hopefully are going to film us playing the game and like drinking and stuff. So if you guys want to see that, please comment so I know that you want to see us film it. I'm going to head off to bed. I'll see you tomorrow and you can come with me for the treatment. And just if anyone else is interested in getting it done, like I'll be the little guinea pig and see how it goes. Hey okay, guys, so I'm here. Do you mind being on it? <laughs> I'm with Shanice. Hi guys. <laughs> um, and we're just on step one of the treatment. So here I am. I have the LED lights on me. Um, we were just talking about it. So this like produces collagen. That's it. Yeah. Um, and helps with like skin tightening. Really good for like skin texture. Um, and it, and we're here for like 20 minutes. Yeah. So this is like a pre-step. Pre-step before like the actual treatment. Um, so yeah, I'll update you guys as we go, but I sled here very comfortably. I love this, the pink Starburst. It's so cute! Because it is the best Starburst, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> is this step three or step two? This is step three. Step three. We can do step two again if you want to get it on your camera. That's, will we do the other side? Then yeah. Like, okay, that's the other side. Okay, we're on step two on the other side, so we're now on this side. I don't really know what the rules are with YouTube and like nudity because i don't want to get any like i don't want to get in trouble for like filming my stomach which is so strange but, <laughs> um but i can hear the is it the radio waves yeah in my ears yeah so it's the ultrasonic sound waves right that because it's <laughs> on my stomach so i can hear it in my ears which i find really cool i actually quite like the feeling like i don't mind it it's like being exfoliated yeah it? yeah my best and then obviously the longevity of the results are obviously longer if you have like two or three more treatments if you get what I mean um, but that was really cool it's just fun to try and like show you guys but I'm now going to head home I've got a singing lesson at half past two I went to the gym as well this morning but I didn't film anything because I just I wanted to get the workout in before going to the appointment um, but yeah, I'll speak to you guys later on. I'm just going to say hello, guys. Um, look at my, look at my <laughs> Was that? Oh, you can't even see it on here. Was that what happened when I went to the toilet? <laughs> um, so no, your face was not there. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I was so embarrassed. Um, it's a while later since I last vlogged, but um, I think I meant, I think I mentioned earlier, me and Elliot come to the cinema, but we were meant to see In the Heights. Um, actually, I'm gonna explain when we get out, because one, you can't see it, two, you probably can't even hear me. So. We're, we're in Newport, because that's where Elliot lives, so I came to him and got to the cinema, and basically, we should have booked online, shouldn't we, really? But we didn't. We didn't really think of it, we were just like, oh, we'll just go to the 
over and then because it wasn't even booked up in the heights but because of like social distancing you're right <laughs> walking to the wall because of social distancing and like the seat situation they couldn't oh thank you okay this is them. i'm just gonna go for a wee yeah <laughs> fine love do you want me to hold that please okay um they couldn't fit us in so we were obviously gutted because we really really want to see it in the heights um, but we ended up just watching Cruella, well obviously Elliot hasn't seen it, we ended up just watching Cruella, obviously I saw it a couple of weeks ago but I said to Elle, I was like I'm more than happy to see it again because I loved it so much the first time and we'll just have to come again and watch In the Heights um, but it was just as good a second time honestly I can't recommend that film enough but we got, we're in a cine world and they don't do ice baths but we got like the equivalent um, I had some snacks and stuff, it was just so nice. Uh, I'm gonna drop Elle's back and drive home. Just carrying <laughs> two waters. And then yeah, I will speak to you guys in a bit. Just showing Elliot my tripod, guys. It's absolutely it's good, isn't it? <laughs> you don't, you don't. <laughs> I don't feel like just... in this life. Um, yeah, it's fun. Really good. It's really good, it's really secure. And it's got a three. Yeah. Wow. So, I'm thoroughly impressed Fantastic, that. what do you think of the film? Oh, it was absolutely great. It was good, wasn't it? Was it was so good. The campery, it was very camp. Very camp. Very, very camp. I felt that when I watched it, actually. Yeah, the, very camp. The flame thing gagged and, gagged and gooped me. When she dropped, yeah. But that was in the trailer. Because I didn't know whether you watched the trailer or not, because that was in the trailer. I think I've watched the trailer, but I didn't really... It wasn't like a word. No, I didn't really... Yeah. It's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a really long day. It is day. 10 to 11, guys. It is. Um, and the, the moth. The, yeah, that's that fucking so amazing. Sick. That was so good. Yeah, honestly, guys, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. But yeah, just showing you my tripod. <laughs> uh <-huh. coughs> guys, um, we haven't actually said in the vlog, me and Elliot are going to Tenerife. Well, actually, wait. I've already said that I'm going to Tenerife. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie is coming as well, <laughs> so um, woo! Surprise, bitch. Surprise! This whole vlog in my car, like I actually need to sort it out. Whoa! Um, I feel like I've just been rushing around this week. I am going to get my nails done now. Um, I'm really excited because this is the current state of my nails and like i said in a video recently i've had to have short nails because of netball um but i'm not playing for a few weeks now Ooh, because there wasn't a match this week i'm in london next week and i need to take some content for a jewelry brand and i just want to have nice nails so i'm going to go now um and get my nails done my camera's about to fly off this is a great angle so i'm excited to show you my new nails i'm back done my makeup i never do a bold nail and i am so glad i love them oh my gosh obviously inspired by sophia they are so fun i literally love them um, this is from No Nudes Allowed on Instagram and they sent me this top and a matching bucket hat which is in my bag so that's what I'm going to go shoot today. Um, I also got white tips on my toes. I hate my feet so I don't really want to show you them because... I just hate them but yeah also got white tips on my toes and it's so nice just having like nice looking toes for once if you're a dancer like you literally know that dancers feet just they're not they're not it feeling funky and fresh with my new nails but I'm kind of stressed because one well, my room is a mess which makes me feel stressed anyway and I'm in work at five and it's already like just gone one. So hopefully can get everything done that I need to get done today before work. And I'm working till 11 and I also need to pack because I'm going to Alton Towers tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. But I need to like sort my stuff out for that. Also went longer than usual and I'm again really glad I did. Also changed the piercing but then I tanned last night and now the pearl on it has gone pink from the tan. That was just a stupid error from me. So I might pick up another one of those. I just feel like, low, you know when you, I constantly just have like loads of tabs open in my brain. Does anyone else get what I mean? We're now in the Zara sale and it is dangerous territory. It's kind of chaotic. Um, 
but I've, as you can see, I've got stuff in my hand. Erin's also got stuff. I just said it's dangerous territory. It's so dangerous. Look at I'm us. So, I'm gonna try this scarf on. Yeah, do that. I think you should. I found a steal of a dress, I can't lie, but the changing rooms are shut. We just had to try it on over our stuff. It was really, actually, very embarrassing. All right, I won't. I also start working at hour, so. Yay. Oh dear. Erin, give me a wave. <laughs> no. Damage is being done. <laughs> Sit on my bed, I got nothing to do Take on my phone, one second right to you I'm really bored Please don't ignore Started as fun, now I randomly know You love rainy days and you still live at home It's cool to see You're real with me I know we've never met And things like this never last But every time you text back my eyes I think I really like you, but I never say it straight to your face. I think I really like you, but I don't wanna repeat my mistakes. And I guess I'm kind of scared of meeting you in person, cause you're really cute. I think instead of sliding to you, the M's like I said, I think I really like you, but I never say it straight to your face. Hello, guys. I have no idea what that little montage hopefully it came out okay i have no idea what that was i had such an impromptu stay over in manchester um but it was so much fun we went to alton towers yesterday and then drove to manchester because it's not too far and stayed over went had love like had the most amazing dinner i'll fill you all in tomorrow because um i can catch you guys all up i've got a little plt haul for you um but had such a lovely time but the england game is on tonight just got home and i'm gonna go meet erin at the pub and just be in the atmosphere so yeah and i have a few parcels and a few different bits to show you we had such a lovely time i'll fill you in about like where we went the, we stayed in the most incredible hotel in manchester and it was all very spontaneous and fun and Live in city girl dreams, city girl summer dreams. It was so good. Sorry if this vlog is really, really all over the place. In my head it is, and I feel like it is, but sometimes they're the best kind of vlogs because you get like a little bit of everything in one. Still absolutely obsessed with my nails. I think these are my favorite nails maybe ever. I, so I've been, actually, I'll fill you guys in now and put my rings on and shit. I have, okay, that's not stable at all. I've been to Manchester like once before to see Justin Bieber. Um, you know the one where he stormed off stage and like threw the mic? Dropped the mic, literally. That was the, I was at that concert. I was actually heartbroken because I've been, I, I was such a huge Justin Bieber fan and it really just broke my heart when he did that. Regardless, I think I was the wrong side of Manchester like what I saw this time I did not experience um when we went before and I, I felt you know how like loads who would now live in Manchester I fully fully see why like it's I as soon as we got there I was like whoa everyone is so dressy like you could go out in a dress and heels and not feel overdressed and that is my idea of the vibe seems so nice the shopping was good like the restaurants oh honestly if it was like for, with like my performing career it's not really that practical for me to live in manchester but i think if i didn't like if i had i don't know if my job led me to manchester i'd be really happy about it if you get me oh also so funny so obviously was very spontaneous i'm actually going to manchester again in two weekends time so i'm going to do a full manchester vlog and i'm being reunited with my friend lauren um who went to bird we were literally inseparable for the whole three years at bird and we haven't seen each other in nearly a year and a half now because she lives in hull and hull to bristol is honestly opposite ends of the country and we just haven't had a chance to see each other because of covid so we've booked a nice weekend away in manchester in a couple of weekends time 
anyway, was posting a story I was in Manchester and she was like, oh my gosh, why are you in Manchester? Da, da, da. And I was like, oh, I just explained. And she was like, we are, like her and her boyfriend, we're, like, we're on our way, like we're literally on our way. We saw, I saw Lauren, I hugged her for so long and it was just the best. And honestly, I was looking at her like, no time it feel like no time has passed since we saw each other so yeah that's crazy um obviously we'll do a full manchester vlog soon anyway i'm off to the pub we'll speak to you guys tomorrow ended up staying at erin's last night it's coming home though guys it's coming home um what a fun night but now we're back in erin's pjs about to eat some leftover chinese with my girly, with my girly. Mushroom chow mein, lemon chicken. Um, and I'm gonna sit, watch some YouTube. I need my Chinese. Okay, it still look like shit, but we're all friends here. Um, I need to have like a shower and like properly sort myself out. I received this parcel from, um, I don't wanna pronounce it wrong, but I've, I've tried some of the skincare before. Kudeli? Kudel? Instant detox face mask and, oh, what's this? I think it's in French. Oh, there we go. Grape water gel moisturizer. Oh, that sounds so nice. Let's have a look at that. So I have to be really careful with what I'm putting on my skin at the moment because of my eczema. I found all their products smell really like spa spa like oh thank you so much i don't think they'll be watching my videos but thank you so so much hello guys it's now monday and i'm gonna round off the vlog today but i have just spent the morning organizing everything i feel like i had so much shit everywhere from obviously going to manchester and i've put the clips i'm about to edit this vlog i've put them onto my computer and i don't think i was <clears throat> i don't think i was at home one night this week i was either in work out or like away like it's been a pretty chaotic week but in the best way possible and yeah i have no idea how this vlog would have turned out but regardless um also this morning i hit 35,000 sub sub whoa also this morning I hit 35,000 subscribers which is such another like milestone for me so thank you so so much. Um, I feel like my channel, my channel is a little slow burner um, but I love creating content so much and I appreciate everyone that subscribes so thank you. Um, but I have quite a lot of things to show you. <laughs> Look at these prints. Okay, so I thought I'd just end it sort of sitting, showing you a couple of bits and bobs. So a girl messaged me on Instagram today, she has her own um, brand called Dunmore Designs and she hand makes, um, I would say it's kind of like festival clothes, like in my opinion it's kind of what I would want to wear to a festival and just like amazing prints, like dresses, co-ords, um, so cool, go and check her out, I will leave it linked in the description, it's just done more designs on Instagram and obviously she hand makes all of these pieces and I was trying them on yesterday and I was like imagine like being able to make these, I just think you must be so talented, um, but I wanted to show you so you guys can go check her out if this is your kind of thing. Also, it came, came in these little cute bags and then in all the bags it has these stickers um, and they all have like a little quote on. This one says it will be alright. Um, I know that one says, yeah, this one says it be like that sometimes. Like just little touches I think make small businesses so special. Um, this one is this gorgeous like zebra, zebra print pattern um, and it's like this racer neck ruched on the side dress i'm pretty sure she has i'm pretty sure she has pictures um of all of these items on her instagram so that was the first one and this is so cool because it's like a three piece so it's in this gorge pink do you know what i think i might try and style this with an oversized white shirt and little white air force um so it's a little ruched skirt with is it a oh no it's another racer racer top um i know that my friend erin is gonna love 
Oh, she's been featured in this vlog actually. I know that Erin is gonna love these items. Then with a little hairband. How cute. So that is the next um, little set or three piece. Then we have another dress and look at this also like zebra print pattern. Um, and it's the same sort of design. So this ruched racer dress. But the quality is phenomenal. Like oh, I just, I'm so impressed, like so, so impressed. And she's so lovely to speak to as well. You can really sort of like customize what you want. And then the final thing is a two piece. This, these colors are gorgeous. Look at that. So is this like, you know what you call this? You tie the top there and then you tie it around the back. Really bad explanation, but I think you guys know what I mean, I hope. Um, and then little cycling shorts as well how adorable is that perfect like for summer really fun really bold so i wanted to show you those quickly um i've also got some bits from plt but i'm not that i'm not too happy with the bits i got if i'm honest just I haven't actually shopped on plt in ages i'm gonna make another order um but i wasn't my size fluctuates all the time um and I just wasn't sure what size to get. Um, so I do love, however, this bag. Um, it kind of has like that sort of designer inspired print on it. And it's, it's like nude with brown um, detail, like zip and strap. Um, and I think this with like a nude outfit will complement it will just complement the outfit so well. So I picked that up and I, I'm gonna keep that. I'm also gonna keep these sunnies. They're like brown, like visor sunnies. Um, I'm also trying to step up my Instagram game and I sort of have come to like, I was getting proper stressed with Instagram and like feeling like I had to be so consistent all the time and it got to, and it was at a point where I was like, oh, I don't want to just post stuff because I feel like I have to be active. I want the pictures to be like quality and like the outfits to be good and stuff. So I feel like I'm at a good point with it now and I only want to put out stuff that I am really, really happy with. Um, anyway, tangent. Um, and then I picked up two pairs of cargo trousers um, and I absolutely loved these but I got them both in a size 12 because I didn't mind them being oversized but I think they're just too big. I don't know if I would have got away with the size 10. You can't really see, they're just like these wide leg cargo trousers and I also picked them up in a cream and I kind of thought this, this was the vibe. Um, but they are too big and they're also really, really long. So. I'm not even sure if I want to reorder them in the 10 because I still feel like the length is too long. Again, picked up this gorge dress. It's like a whole to neck dress with like loads of cutouts. I'm really not showing this very well. Um, <laughs> loads of cutouts and then like this detail on the front and it's kind of like a midi dress. I got this in a 10 and it's too big. Like the cutouts like kind of hang um so this is the thing i just don't really know what size i am on plt um so unfortunately that's going back although i am keeping this top now i saw becca carriage put this on her story she was doing some like outfit inspo stories and she said this with denim shorts and a oversized like shirt and i fully could get on board with that so that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Here is the top. It's kind of, oh wait, can you see that? There we go, there we go. Structure there, like around the boobs, and then it just zips up at the back. And what I love about this is adjustable, so you can sort of tighten it to how, however much you want, which is fab for someone who doesn't have any boobs like me. So I am gonna keep that, and I think I'm also gonna keep this. It's just a white, a, a cash or a white top it's actually really thick i was really impressed because I, I always say this my biggest pet peeve is see-through white stuff i just think what's the point um and then it just has like a strap round your stomach so you can kind of like pu pull the straps down 
if you see what I mean. Anyway, these are supposed to be red, they're not, so we're gonna send those back as well. Yeah, so I'm gonna end this vlog here. It is Monday and I'm actually going to London tomorrow for a good couple of days, which I cannot tell you how excited I am. I am staying with Macaulay, I get to see all my friends from Bird, um, I'm gonna see my cousin, I'm gonna finally meet my agent in person. Um, I'm just gonna, have a really fun time being back in London. It feels like so long ago since I lived there um, and I'm really, really excited to be back. So saying that, it's actually my last shift tonight at Ui, which is where I've been working the past two months, Ui vegan like restaurant. Um, it is quite well known, so you guys might know it. Um, and I've been working there the past two months, but next week I'm starting a new job, which is more of a full-time job, which I think will be a really good move for me and something I'm really looking forward to. I think I'm going to fill you in on that in a whole other video. Um, it will, yeah, it's definitely more of an adult decision, an adult move for me. Um, and obviously I was only at Ui for two months, but this job offer came up and I couldn't really deny it. So I will fill you guys in more on that soon. I've got some really exciting videos coming up for you and I hope you are excited as well. I'm obviously London vlog. I know that I haven't been like too consistent with my uploads but I've just been mega mega busy and I'm excited to get some structure in my life and I love you guys so much. Love yourself first. I just pick that up off my floor and all the barking i'm just gonna end this vlog here thank you so much if you've made it to the end of this messy like rambly video i would love for you to leave me a nice comment and we can have a chat and a catch up below thank you so much again for 35,000 subscribers and i will see you in my next video bye